Hi friends, let us learn physics as a combination of simple mathematics and simple English. In English, this whole thing is called as one unit. In mathematics, we represent the same thing using symbols like one quantity. Now, if we make this one unit into two equal units, we call each of them as half. Symbolically, we represent the same thing as one divided with two, and there are two such halves, which when added together results the same single quantity. Similarly, if one unit is divided into three equal units, then after division, each quantity is called as one third. There are three such one thirds, and which when added together results the same single quantity. If the same one unit is divided into four equal units, after division, each quantity is called as one fourth or one quarter each. There are four such quarters, and which when added together results the same single quantity. The same analysis can be applied to any number like when one unit is divided into ten equal units after division, each one is called as one tenth or dc, represented with a small letter d. There are ten such equal quantities in mathematics. Symbolically, we write each of them as one divided by one followed with zero, or ten raised to the power of minus one. In physics, for this length represented as one meter, we call one of these equal quantities as one decimeter, or one followed with a small d and a small m. Now, when one unit is divided into hundred equal units. After division, each one is called as one hundredth or centi, represented with a small letter c. There are hundred such quantities in mathematics. Symbolically, we write each of them as one divided by one followed with two zeros or ten raised to the power of minus two. In physics, we call each length as one centimeter or one followed with a small letter c and small letter m. Later. When one is divided into thousand equal units after division, each one is called as milli and represented with a small letter m. There are thousand such quantities in mathematics. Symbolically, we write each of them as one divided by one followed with three zeros, that is one by thousand or ten raised to the power of minus three. In physics, we call one of these equal length as one millimeter or one followed by Small letter m and a small letter m. When one unit is divided into ten lakh equal units after division, each one is called as micro, represented with mu. There are ten lakhs of such quantities. In mathematics, symbolically, we write each of them as one divided by one followed with six zeros, or ten raised to the power of minus six. In physics, the same length is called as one micrometer. Are one followed with mu and small letter m. When one unit is divided into hundred crore equal units, after division, each one is called as nano, represented with a small n. There are hundred crores of such quantities. In mathematics, symbolically, we write each of them as one divided by one followed with nine zeros or ten raised to the power of minus nine. In physics, we call one of these equal units as One nanometer, or one followed with a small letter n and a small letter m. When one unit is divided into thousand crore equal units after division, each one is called as angstrom. There are thousand crores of such quantities. In mathematics, symbolically, we write each of them as one divided by one followed with ten zeros, or ten raised to the power of minus ten. In physics, one of these equal lengths is called as one angstrom unit. One followed with a capital letter A with a degree symbol overhead. This is the order of the size of an atom. That is, the size of an atom is approximately equal to 10 raised to the power of minus 10 meter. In simply, we call it as one angstrom unit. Hope you knew something new. Please like, share, and subscribe if you feel that it would be helpful for someone. Thank you.